on the bump off the wall, we've got a lead change. In fact, halfway down the field, and most of the field is stuck. Cosmocrats, leaving Earth on November 5th. Sand may be coarse and gets everywhere, but it's the bread and butter of the O Raceway, the home race for the O Rangers. Here in season two of Marbula One, hello everybody, I'm Greg Woods. We return to the O Raceway, which was the second race of the first season of this fantastic marble competition. And it was quite an eventful race, and if qualifying this year is anything to go by, we are in for a barnstormer today. Perched high atop this somewhat sandy track, you'll notice some changes from last year's. The marbles will first go through the roll and go to improve race performance. All marbles will get to keep their same position, though. That's just kind of a fun way for them to get to the grid. By the way, special thanks to our sponsor, Cosmocrats, the zero-gravity dystopian adventure that is available now on Steam, where your decisions really matter in a dark comedy and set in zero gravity. It's Wispy on pole, next to Billy from the Green Ducks, who's gotten a great start out of the gate every time they've launched. Then Pulsar, Red Eye, Snowstorm, and Tumult. And we're rolling, and Billy has done it again, but gets shoved to the outside and fights back through the first sector. Great move to keep up in the lead. High on the curbs is Tumult, and I believe Cerulean back there trying to offer that same strategy. First time they come down the sand, and Cerulean shoots between them all and takes the lead. Billy has fallen way back to fifth and maybe at risk of losing even more. Mimo in second place, just narrowly ahead of Tumult. Mimo with a phenomenal start, up 12 spots. Yellup is up 11. How about Orangin, by the way, for the home team? Up five already. And it's a two marble race starting to spread away with Mimo and Cerulean, but that gap is not insurmountable by any means. Look at Billy on the outside with a nice burst of speed to climb right up onto the back of them and get right back into podium contention. This racetrack, familiar one for these competitors. The ramp is hopefully a little bit safer than it was last year for Waspy's incident as Billy sets a new fast lap, 26.51. Well, quicker than the pace last year. You'll notice a lot of marbles going high up on the curbs through that first curb section of Sector 1, but not on the second one. A lot of them saying that helps them if they stay off the curbs to enter the sand cleanly. Billy and Cerulean closing up to a length on Mimo at the end of this lap, and the lead is just six hundredths of a second. Tumult gained another couple of spots. Wispy has done the same. Red Eye is not matching the dominance in the first race from Crazy Cat's Eyes when it was Yellow Eye at the helm in that one. Mimo spreading out for the second place Team Momo. Only one race has gone by, but we've awarded points at both of them. One point for pole position. Look at the three-way battle for the lead. Up onto the belt. It's going to be neck and neck for second between Cerulean and Tumult. As Honey has taken the fastest lap, 25.97. That's worth a point, remember. That could play a part, especially later in the season. To notice the purple stopwatch designating who holds fastest lap. A four marble train develops briefly, but Tumult leaves them in the dust, in the sandy dust, and tries to close in on Mimo. Around the final turn they come. What's the lead now? Eight tenths of a second. That's a little bit more comfortable than what Mimo had, but look at all the battles that are going to be coming off the belt. It's a slew of marbles. All around through sector one, positions changing all the time. Mimo, Tumult, Billy, and Yellup lead the way, and Billy into second place as Tumult got caught on the walls a little bit. Bumped by Yellup, shoots it forward, and gets right back into the fray with Billy. Where's Mimo in the meantime? That eight tenths of a lead has ballooned by nearly a second and a half. Red Eye falls back to ninth. Rima, who just missed out on transferring from Q1, back in 11th. Bolt holding up the final spot just behind rapidly from the, believe it or not, last place Savage Speeders, at least last place in the championship among those who have qualified. Billy with a little bit of breathing room. Wispy shoulders on by to get into second place, but falls out at the final turn to Tumult. 
nearly halfway through this race, much longer than it was a season ago. Nemo had been watching the tape from Yellow Eye's performance and realized that, especially this season, with as competitive as the mid-pack is, as here comes Snowstorm into third place. As competitive as the mid-pack is, you have to be on your game. And if you can get clear of the field, you do not have to look back over your shoulder all that often. How about Snowstorm? Goes sub-26 and takes fastest lap to improve five spots up to third. How does Snowstorm handle the pressure coming from behind? Three marbles on either side now are battling for that spot and Snowstorm is going to lose out. A hard bump against Red Eye who's having a bit of a return to form as this race goes along. Up into fifth now. Snowstorm now sitting in fourth, trying not to lose touch with the two marbles in front. That's Billy who's being hounded by Tumult. Nemo still well off into the lead here on lap number 10. Ooh, Billy and Snowstorm close right up on Tumult. With the scoring pylon having a little issue there, but who's not having an issue? Some of these marbles are starting to make good climbs back up. We saw Rapidly do it in the race last year here. Around they come through the first sector. Again, going high on that curbs through the first of those switchback turns and then staying off of them for the most part for the entry onto the sand. Tumult. Closes up on Snowstorm. Billy can see Nemo at the end of the stretch. That lead, 2.29 seconds. Billy is close behind, though. Tumult, Wispy, Yellow, Honey, Red Eye, and Orangin, and Pulsar rounding out the top 10. The Rangers would love a top 10 finish here at their home track. The host curse hit everybody hard in the first season as it cooled off just a little bit here. Snowstorm into second place, just off of our camera. Nice two marble battle there between Honey and Yellup. And they get a little bit farther apart as Honey closes up on Tumult, who is falling down the order. Lost one spot in the last lap, maybe at risk of losing more this one. Everybody holding station decently well here, perhaps saving up that energy to mount one final challenge in the remaining few laps. One of those runs may be coming from Billy, who gets by into second place. Honey also passes Snowstorm, who might lose out to Tumult and Wispy. Snowstorm down to sixth after that phenomenal fastest lap, which still has that point with it so far. Nobody's been able to beat that sub-26 lap that Snowstorm put in a few circuits ago. Nemo so far up ahead, the camera's not even looking. Billy notices Wispy getting by for third place. As Tumult does not want to give up that position, very easily. What's the lead up front? Now nearly four seconds. A massive margin for Mimo. And Bolt goes fastest lap at the back of the field. Finally got off that last place rapidly. Way back, 13 seconds adrift. Now Billy trying to hold off Red Eye and got sold the dummy and they move around the outside and Billy falls back down the order to fifth and may lose even more. Red Eye. Great charge into second place. Where did Wispy go? All the way back to seven. Lost four spots on that one, Red Eye, with a superb lap. But is there enough time to try to catch Mimo way out in front? Red Eye would need to go fastest lap, fastest lap, as often as possible. Remember that lead the last time around was four seconds. Nice dive bomb move there. As Rima up into fourth spot. Behind Tumult. A couple of laps to go here, and the lead is visibly coming down. Is Red Eye doing enough? Has Mimo stumbled somewhere? Because look at how much that gap has come down. Mimo around the final turn, onto the belt cleanly. A couple of laps to go. Shaved nearly two and three quarter seconds off of the lead has Red Eye. Rima back in third. Billy, tumult. High off the curbs, onto the sand section. Both of them look so slow at this point. A little bit of extra seesawing for Red Eye. Is that going to give Mimo a slight reprieve? One and a quarter seconds becomes 1.13. It's down by a tenth. One lap to go. 
Nemo trying to win the race and hold off a great charge from Red Eye. Crazy Cat's Eyes are bringing it to Marbula 1 here in the second season. Can Red Eye close up on the sand? It doesn't look like it. Everybody else falling behind. Meanwhile, Mimo onto the front stretch, around the final turn, and wins at the O Raceway. Red Eye in second, Tumult rounds out the podium in third, Rima in fourth. Billy fell back to fifth, and it's Cerulean and Honey. Wispy, Bolt gets the fastest lap, and Yella. 87 overtakes in the top five alone, 270 in the overall race. Heck of a lot of counting to do. One thing you know is count on. Podium celebrations. Crazy Cat's Eyes, they're getting used to it. Momo in second place in the overall standings coming into this race. Looks to have elevated, or at least tried to close that gap to Crazy Cat's Eyes. This race extremely different from how it began to how it finished. So many changes in positions and some hard fought racing too. This final turn had a lot of contact, as did the sand. Sometimes that contact was with the walls, as you see Snowstorm, in route to that phenomenal lap that for a long time was not beaten by anybody. Red Eye fell well back into the order and then managed to work back up into second and give a very nice challenge at the end. But it is Team Momo by a single point over Crazy Cat's Eyes. Green Ducks and the Bumblebees next up in the overall standings as we'll see you at the Honey Dome.